Hey, what is going on everybody? Today we are going to do a video overview of the Unity 6. We're going to discuss uh, what it is, why we made it, and what it can do. And then uh, we're gonna go over some of the individual features of what uh, the Unity 6 offers. And then again, this is just an overview video. We will follow up this video with uh, more in-depth videos on each one of the settings or each one of the features that we're going over today. So, you know, what is it? Well, the Unity 6 is a robust MIDI controller with also a six channel loop switcher. So you, meaning that you can bring in your analog pedals and loop those on and off. And you can also control any digital effects. So basically the Unity 6 unites all of your analog MIDI and time-based effects. So we have this time-based section in here with BPMs and tap. We can send MIDI to our digital pedals, and then we can also use um, analog pedals in the loops to turn them on and off. And then we have these called uniports back here, which can control, you know, they, they can send MIDI over TRS, or they control tap tempo on some of your analog devices. Um, and so we've kind of noticed in the industry that it would take several different pedals to be able to control all of these together. So a MIDI controller just to control your digital devices. So another time-based pedal which controls your MIDI clock, subdivisions, BPM, things like that to control your, your MIDI clock pedals. And then also some sort of a loop switcher to turn your loops on and off. So we designed the Unity 6 to control all of these things in a small form factor, but yet giving you robust features and full control over all of these things. So the main features of the Unity 6 is it is a full-blown MIDI controller. Um, inside the programming menu, you can program. Um, you have these program switch options. So you have switch one, two, three, and four, and then you see there's a knob option here. That is your fifth preset. Each preset has the ability to send 32 MIDI messages, um, all unique messages up to 16 different pedals all at one time. So that includes, you know, so like I said, that would be of the five presets, the one, two, three, four, and then the BPM is actually, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's also a switch as well. So the next feature we have is the six analog loops. So you can put your analog drives or your analog uh, tremolo delays, anything like that, that is mono. So you have six mono loops and inside each one of the presets, you can save the actual loop order. So they have rearrangeable loop orders for each one of the loops. So when you go into this preset, you hit loop order, and now you can see that this is your input, signal flow goes through here and then output. And then if you ever want to change any of the loop orders, you simply just press two of them, and then they automatically switch back and forth. And so that is the analog loop section. Next, I want to talk about the uniports. We have four uniports on the back. And they have several features that they can do. So you can assign uniports here, one through four, and you can assign it to uh, quarter inch MIDI TRS, uh, tap division one or two, expression pedal. So you have all these different options that the uniports can give more control over external pedals, whether that's sending MIDI like we have it connected here, or sending tap tempo out to additional pedals. And so that is how the uniports function. And then last but not least, the Unity also comes with its own built-in Wi-Fi, which we can use to connect to our web editor, whether that's via a cell phone, a PC, a Mac, a tablet, Android, doesn't matter. You can do wireless programming without having to connect the cable to your computer. We also have built-in Bluetooth, so you can send MIDI over Bluetooth, or you can receive MIDI over Bluetooth, and in turn, when you receive MIDI, it can relay those messages out of the MIDI port and control your whole pedal board. So for instance, you could use software like a DAW, like Ableton, that for running tracks or anything out there from multi-tracks, loop community, things like that. You can receive MIDI from your tracks and keep your whole pedal board in sync with the tracks when you're playing each Sunday. So let's talk about some of the individual features and how you would actually use the Unity 6. And again, we're gonna keep this as a high level and we will go into the deep dive of each individual feature in future videos. So let's talk about navigating banks with the switches. So we have this activate bank switch here. So when you press the bank up buttons, 
or the bank down buttons, you can scroll up in banks, you can do them individually, or you can hold them down and fast scroll. And so once your bank is queued up, you can see here that it is flashing, it is queued up. You have to hold down the tap switch in order to activate the bank. And now the bank is activated. The reason why we have this set up to um, not immediately switch banks when you're scrolling, but you have the option to activate bank, is because you can queue up that bank. And then in addition to the five presets we talked about earlier that send MIDI, we also have another feature called bank send. And inside the bank send is whenever a bank is activated, you have the ability to have up to 16 individual messages that will fire whenever the bank is activated. So the bank send feature can be used to call up any arrangement of messages, turning loops on, turning loops off, or turning different presets on or off throughout your different pedals whenever you activate the bank, which could be useful for, let's say, going into the next song of your set list and you hit activate bank, then it immediately fires up everything you need for the very first intro or verse of that song. So that's how you navigate the banks um, up and down. And then we also have another feature as we showed you earlier. Let's, let's go back to our bank one here. Let's activate that. You can see the loop order is all saved per preset. Um, let's uh, talk about another way we can jump around banks. Let's say you have this bank here set up for uh, a verse, chorus, like this is for a song. Um, but we want to turn loops on and off. So how do we quickly jump to different banks? I've assigned um, a message to the BPM knob here that we can jump to a bank. So if you click that, it quickly jumps to my loops bank. So I have switches to turn all the loops off. I have a press to turn on one, a double tap to turn on loop four. And you kind of see the example here. So you can quickly get into those loops using the BPM knob. And then how do you get back? Well, we just programmed a message type that says return to last used bank. So as soon as we click this, it automatically jumps right back to our bank that we were in. So as you can see, we quickly, quickly jump between banks back and forth. And then of course you can use this BPM knob. I assign this a, uh, a release message, but you can also do a long press to jump to a different bank, a double tap to jump to a different bank. So you can assign multiple banks if you wanted to have one for a big sky and one for a timeline and one for you know your HX stomp. You can jump to each one of those and then you can control different parameters as you need and then quickly jump back to the preset you were in. Okay, so let's talk about the MIDI clock features of the Unity 6 and how this works. Is it global? Is it safe per preset? Um, you know, those are all good questions and we're gonna answer that now. So here we have um, this preset has a BPM of 72. So when you go into your programming and then you wanna edit this bank info, you can see that the BPM is set for 72 for this song. So whenever you call up this preset or whenever you call up this bank, um, the BPM will immediately be set to 72. Now let's say for instance, you are, um, you need a different BPM or if you're, you're uh, music director decides to bump it up by one BPM, you know, you can always, you have this dedicated knob here where you can simply just dial it in by one click at a time, or you can fast scroll and then you'll see the clock information immediately updates and syncs with all of your MIDI clock pedals. So we can set this to something much higher and you see immediately it's flashing. And then of course, you always have the ability to tap in your tempo in case you don't want to reach down and turn it in the middle of the set. And then let's address whether it's global or if it's safe per preset. So right now we have the BPMs at 75 that we're gonna to jump to uh, another bank, bank two. Now this will be set up to, uh, like, to fire your next song. So immediately in this preset, we have the BPM set to 84. So you can see that your BPMs are set on a per preset basis, but then you have the ability to adjust them at will whenever you need uh, via the tap switch or the BPM knob. Okay, now let's talk about the expression control with the Unity 6. We can use the Uniports on the back to plug in up to two expression pedals. Um, Uniport 1 is Expression 1 and Uniport 2 is Expression 2. And right now we have the Expression pedal 
plugged into uh, Uniport 2. So as you can see, we've labeled our expression as drive. And then over here in the HX stomp, we have two different parameters that are highlighted white and they will be controlled with the expression. So as you will notice, we, as we increase the drive, it cuts base and as we pull back, it'll lower drive and then increase the base. So you can have multiple message tied to an expression pedal and then you can set different min and max values um, and then you can even set whether the, the direction whether it goes um, higher when you raise the toe or or higher when or higher when you lower the heel. So in this case, they are flipped around like that. So as you can see, as we control expression, you'll see that the drive goes down and bass goes up, and then vice versa as we increase expression, drive goes up and bass goes down. Okay, so that covers how to use a physical expression pedal with the Unity 6 but now we can also do virtual expression pedals, which is a really cool feature. Um, so if you don't want any expression pedal at all, you could obviously do two virtual expression pedals or one of each like we have in this example here. And so as you can see, switch one, the scribble strip says EXP1, and we're going to be controlling the um, expression pedal and the parameters assigned to that over here on this slider. So we have a long press scroll so when we hold this down, it'll scroll up and down. And we've also assigned this a toggle. So the first press goes up and then the next press goes down and then just, of course, back and forth. So as you see here, when we hold the switch down, you'll notice the expression raising. And then when we go back the second time, the expression will lower. And then we have a minimum level set. So I'm still holding it down, but it stops at the minimum we had set it at. And that goes the same for a maximum. So when you hold that down, um, it'll stop at the maximum level you have it set at, in this case, 93. All right, so that's how we use the expression pedals with the Unity 6. Okay, so the last feature we wanted to show you is just a real quick example of how we can send MIDI. And we're going to be sending MIDI over, we have our five pin MIDI out going to the HX stop. And then we have a quarter inch TRS cable going out to the Revelation and that is used via the Uniport. So this will kind of show you an example where we can send MIDI via the Uniports as well as obviously the five pin MIDI. So let's just send a couple of simple messages. We're gonna uh, assign it to this switch two here. So if you go into programming and you select switches, you select which switch you wanna program and in this case it's going to be two. And then inside here you have up to 32 messages to choose from. So there's a long list of messages here we can choose from. In this case, we'll start with the first message. And then the Unity 6 has what we call a press action and a message type. So the press action is, when do you want this to fire? Uh, in our case, we're gonna go real simple. We're just gonna fire this message on a press. And then we're also going to send a PC message. So this is our message type. Uh, we have several types in here, as you can see. Uh, but let's just start with a PC message and we're gonna send that to the HX stomp. Um, so you, next you want to select your MIDI channel. The HX stomp is in uh, channel two, and uh, we can also name our channels. So in this case, when we select channel, you can see HX stomp channel two. So we'll just go ahead and select that. And then what PC number do we want to send? Uh, we have these little slider buttons, so you can slide around. And then also we have the individual buttons where you can go up by one, or you can hold it down and then it will do a little scroll for you. So in case you wanna make some quick adjustments there. So let's just say 75 is gonna send on that message type. Okay, so now we wanna send a program change message to the revelation. So we want this to happen at the exact same time. So both of these will fire. So let's do this. Let's go to a second message and then let's keep it on the press. So if we keep it on a press, they'll fire at the exact same time. But if I want these to change individually, I could send this to a press and this to a double tap, and then you can control different things at different times, all with the same switch. But for now, we're gonna keep it easy. This is a press, press action, and then the message type again is going to be a PC. And then we wanna select our channel. So again, it is named, it says Revelation. And then, oh, I don't know, let's just go to number three, okay? So as you've noticed, there is no saving. There is no um, having to connect a USB cable and hit save every time you change a message. Every time you make a change on here, 
it is automatically saved and that saves um, in permanent memory. So even when you cycle down power, it retains all your settings. Okay, so now that that is programmed, when we press switch two, we're going to see the HX stop, change presets, as well as the revelation. And since they were both assigned to the press action, this will happen simultaneously. So let's press that and then we'll see, jump to the new preset, jump to the preset. And that is how you program MIDI. So the last thing we wanna show you is, let's change this scribble strip name away from empty and let's just call that bridge. You know, so we'll go into programming, hit the scribble strips, and then this is scribble strip two. So we wanna select scribble strip two, and then you have a default name and a toggle name. Uh, we're gonna change this to the, the default name, and we're gonna call this bridge. So let's just label that real quick. Bridge, hit save. You notice it immediately changes. And then maybe we don't like the color of that scribble strip. So we just select the color tab and can immediately switch whatever color we want. How about a yellow? And then that changes again. Everything changes immediately and no saving is required. So there you have it. This is a brief overview of the Unity 6, what it is, why we made it, and what it can do. So stay tuned and then we'll have some more in-depth videos on each one of these programming MIDI, uniports, expressions, so on and so forth. So drop us a comment down below if you have any questions and we'll be glad to answer. We'll see you later.